Yo, what is up guys? For today I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now, in this video I'm going to be explaining and showing you guys what I wear with my Hunter. Now, I try to do these type of videos before a new season starts. And unfortunately, all of the road roadmap is done with. With Crimson Doubles being the last thing from that roadmap. So, I thought, why not do this video now since the next season's almost here. So... Essentially, if you guys have any questions about any gear that I have, weapons, whatever question you may have, leave it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to explain anything you guys have to question. But other than that, let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is obviously one of my favorite plays. One of, one of my favorite ways to play the game, which is the one-two punch method, which is essentially get a one-two punch shotgun, arc strider top tree, and then Liar's Handshake. This is probably one of the funnest way to play and it's not just limited to uh, Hunters. You can do it with a Warlock with Winter's Guile and with a Titan with Worm God Caress. Those work as well. If not, I think the Warlocks works the best if I remember correctly. Not sure, don't quote me on that. But this is one of my favorite ways to play, especially since I have a bunch of stuff that goes well with shotguns, even though if you're using this well, you should not be killing anything with shotguns, but I tend to kill stuff with shotguns because I have a bunch of stuff that really helps me gain my wep my ammo really fast, so I can afford to fuck around and use ammo. But yeah, this is one of my favorite loadouts. If you guys do not have Perfect Paradox or any other shotgun on the top one, you can get something like pretty much Python. Python is one of the best ones, and it's a static roll. You can get this from just grinding gambit if you don't want to do gambit then i mean there's a few in the raid from season of opulence and then another one in gambit so yeah unfortunately if that's what you want this is really easy to farm though the perfect paradox is super easy to farm so i would just suggest you go for the perfect paradox roll the one i have is demolitionist with one two punch or trench barrel so you do you the next loadout is one of my favorites for again pve i have a lot of pve loadouts but this one is probably one of my favorites if not my most favorite way to play so this is the way my hunter looks when i do pve so the one two punch method is usually what i do when i really just don't take the game too seriously it's just like kind of my turn my brain off moment this is the my sweat this is like me going hard this is me doing nightfall ordeal so obviously I have Celestial Nighthawk with Bottom Tree Gunslinger and essentially everything loaded up for sniper rifles. So because I'm using Izanagi's Burden and I do kill his other stuff with Izanagi, but essentially I've killed the Orchid, which is not the best. This roll, this loadout in particular is not the best for PvE. So I would probably end up using Callus Mini Tool. I really love this weapon. And then Love and Death with full card and spike grenades. This is also a really good roll. Or if you don't want to use a grenade launcher, Line in the Sand with Rapid Hit and Firing Line is amazing. Obviously with box spec, boss spec, but these two would be great. I mean, Line in the Sand, it's not the best DPS, but it's still, it's still good. It's not bad. So this is probably the loadout that is one of my favorites to run in PvE, especially if I'm like going hard. For PvP, it changes a little bit. Obviously, if you, as you guys can see, I have Dust Rock Blues, I have Spare Rations, I have Randy's Throwing Knife, Revoker, Kindled Orchid, especially this role is really good for PvP. The, my Trophy Hunter at the moment is only for PvP, or PvE, I, I mean. The PvP got, or the PvE role that I have is triple tap with snapshot sights and i think that rolls really good i'll probably end up showing you guys later maybe but you guys can see mind benders uh this is not the best roll on these mind benders especially the range but i did end up getting like what full choke and some other stuff it's not a bad it's pretty bad i'm not even gonna lie but that's the only one i have i would have farmed it last week but i did not have anyone to farm it with and last hope obviously for pvp is amazing feeding frenzy with rampage is just it, it fucking it destroys not even kidding ariana's vows good for pvp and pve symmetry is pretty dope for both as well but essentially for pvp I, I just changed so much that i can't just give you something like a definitive like loadout but that's pretty much it for my gear i mean 
if you guys were, were to ask me like tony what's the what's the armor that you like to look like like what's the if you if you were to ask me tony what's the armor that would define like what you looked like in season of dawn it would most likely be this right here then most likely be this maybe maybe with this one and then change the chest piece to this one but honestly this is the way i've been looking like the most maybe the helmet can change but other than that this is pretty much what i've been going for unfortunately the bombardiers looks very like japanese inspired and most of the japanese inspired armor is locked away from previous iron banners so unfortunately i don't have access to those anymore because there's a bunch of there's a bunch of armor that i would have loved to put with this like i'll show you guys right now for the chest piece it would have been for sure this one it would have been amazing especially with the shader this would have been oh it already looks cool as fuck dude yeah Unfortunately, I this was from Forsaken and I did not save any of the pieces. Probably for the arms would, or the helmet, it would probably be this one. The Iron Fellowship is probably one of the dopest helmets. Unfortunately, like I said, do not have access to this even though it's in my collections. Just stupid. And then for the arms, it would be the Iris Simiki Grips, which I still have these. Unfortunately, I still have these, so... Yeah, if for, for, if for whatever reason Bungie decides to give us an Iron Banner armor set that can use any of the old Iron Banner armor sets, then I'd pretty much be golden. I I already have like the perfect like armor set to to wear. But the only difference, or the only thing is, I don't know if the cloak would be good for that. But this was this was this was this is this would be the way I would look in Season of Dawn. This is like the most. Yeah, this would be the most like representative of how I looked like at that DLC or at this DLC. So not only that, but I love the Bombardiers. I think this is probably one of the best exotics um, this season by far. Doesn't say much considering we only had three armor exotics. But if I'm including the armors from Undying, the season of the Undying, the Bombardiers are a lot of fun. I love these. They're so much fun to use. I know it's not meta. I know people are going to be like, but it's not meta, Tony. I don't really care, dog. It's so it's a lot of fun, especially if I'm like running this loadout specifically. Where are you? No, I already had you. If I'm running this loadout specifically, I'm always going to be right next to a, uh, an enemy. And with like my mobility at 100, my, my class ability is at 9 seconds. So <laughs> it's really gross, especially when I have... Uh, perpetuation which like increases increases it even more it's just it's it's a lot of fun if you're a hunter and you think oh should, or should, are the bombardier is good they're fucking fun dog if you love to play pvp they're a lot of fun because you hit what like i think it does like half health or something like that but yeah it's a lot of fun now for the gear i usually have the eris morn shell but if the shank shell had guiding light which gives you 10 percent experience on every activity you do then i would be wearing this all the time because if you guys have noticed i'm going for a fallen look for my hunter my titan has a cabal look and my war warlock has a uh hive look unfortunately we do not have any armor sets that are cabal or any of the bosses or any of the enemies really i don't understand why we, I, I do not understand why we don't have any enemy themed armor yet. Like, why not? But whatever. This is the world we live in. But I have a bunch of stuff here as well. But it's not really too much to look at, really. Aside from Tyrant Shell, I think this is one of the best uh, exotic ghosts ever. I love this ghost shell. It looks fucking awesome. It's just all around one of my favorites to be honest and uh for emblems it's all here i got the crimson echoes which <sighs> this is a bitch to get guys but that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys my hunter honestly this is one of my favorite looks for my hunter i love my hunter i've been playing my hunter since fucking destiny 1 beta and yeah i love to do these up at, at the end of a dlc just because it kind of shows my progress of like 
how my character look at a certain time because like the, my season of opulence armor looks so much more different than what i look now especially shader and like just everything in general but let me know what you guys think if you guys have any comments or questions again leave them in the comments below i will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have if you guys want to say that i look shitty by all means let me know i know you're wrong but it's fine <laughs> and if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets link there in the description below if you are curious about my warlock and my titan i will have those videos separately probably the next following days but other than that i will see you guys later